So body confidence, body image, it affects everyone, no matter how big you are, or how small you are, or what's going on for you. This is Kate. Hi there. From sexgeekdom.com. Ashley Manta from AshleyManta.com, and I'm Kathy Bertoli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. And we've all had body issues our whole lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people think that if you're, I know I did, and I th thought if I saw anyone that looked as conventionally pretty as you, I would just assume that you wouldn't speak to me and that mm -hmm. you were judging me. So I lost a lot of connections that would have been really beautiful mm -hmm. because I was assuming that I mean, obviously, I thought the thin people were so much more valuable than me, mm -hmm. and I've been brought up that way. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, you were thinking you're better than me. Mm -hmm. But and I loved when you shared about some of your struggles. Yeah. Because it helped me realize that, you know, that's not what it's about. We yeah. all get caught up in our, it's, as Reed says, it's a dangerous neighborhood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so would you be willing to share some of your experiences? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I'm... Um just something that I've noticed from my own experience and talking to um, lots of other women and, and increasingly it seems like more men as yes. well, um, just about how there's no one right size. Like yes. it seems like people who I would consider um, way more attractive than me are probably having the same insecurities yeah. that, that I do. I mean, they might have a different privilege or, or, or a different experience, but mm -hmm. it's still the, 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 the rampant insecurity I think is not unique to one particular size. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes it almost seems like the people that are more conventionally or traditionally beautiful have more pressure. Mm -hmm. It's like they have something to lose. They're like, if they're a little bit outside, they're going to feel that judgment even more. Yeah. So I think, you know, it doesn't matter what your stuff is. I have one friend who, very, very pretty woman, um, and she has some acne scarring mm -hmm. from when she was young. And she won't even go out of the house without makeup. Yeah. And she's convinced everybody sees it. And that's not what I see when I see her. Mm -hmm. um, so no matter where you are with your body image, or your confidence in, in yourself, knowing that other people are awkward mm -hmm. and feel it, struggling with the same stuff, that can really help. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Do you have any, um, either of you have suggestions about how you kind of started working through this and started feeling better about yourself? I mean, I think similarly, like what I was mentioning about there not being one particular body type, I think um, I used to think that I needed to lose weight in order to be this one particular acceptable mm -hmm. size, and, and it's still something that's a, a struggle for me, Like, yeah. but the letting go of the idea that there is one acceptable shape yes. is um, has been really helpful in feeling much more um, connected to my body. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and for me, it's always been hard to have compliments. I, it's hard for me to take compliments. When somebody tells me you're beautiful, I don't let that in. Yes. I, I try to deflect it. Um, but I finally realized that like it doesn't even just have to be about what's external. Like I can accept a compliment like you're beautiful and it could be my personality or the way that I care about people. And like that allowed me to start to let those kind of compliments mm -hmm. in. And then as I got more comfortable with my body, I would let them apply to my body as well. Yeah. I think when we reject a compliment, we're really shaming the person who gives it to us. Absolutely. So I'm if when someone used to tell me you're really pretty, I wouldn't. I, when I was first started dating, I had a few people say you're really pretty, and I assumed they were liars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't. I just stopped talking to them, which yeah. is so silly. Mm -hmm. And me telling them that their perception of pretty is wrong. Right. Shaming them for the or judging them for their perception of beautiful or pretty or value, you know, nice to see. Mm -hmm. We don't get to judge that. Yeah, absolutely. We get to let that in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I think that, that, that never ceases to amaze me. The older I get, the more um, the more I realize that there is such this unbelievable spectrum of what other people find hot. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's so valuable. I love that idea that yeah. there's not one thing that everyone wants, that there's this amazing spectrum of things that people want. And that's it's so wonderful when we're not all trying to conform mm -hmm. to one like Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We give people... Uh, choices on what to like. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna look like a Victoria's Secret model. Nope. But, but I you look hot just the way you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you're out there struggling with it, one thing we recommend is don't put yourself down. Mm -hmm. Society does teach you to do that because it's kind of like if I put myself down enough, other people might say something nice. We have right, another right. video on that. 
Um, but you're also telling other people that you judge them too. Mm -hmm. They're hearing that and going, oh, if she thinks that about her, what is she thinking about me? Yeah, I think that, that was really powerful what you guys uh, were discussing about how when you fat shame yourself, you are telling everyone else around that they're not acceptable either yeah. and that they are under scrutiny and judgment. Like that, that was such powerful learning for me. I'd never thought about it in that yeah. way. Yeah, we're kind of conditioned that that's, that's a virtuous person puts themselves down and mm -hmm. hopes that other people pick them up. Right. Which so. is bullshit. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's a lot of work for other people. Yeah, to constantly be absolutely. Trying to... And confidence is sexy. Mm -hmm. yes. Like, if you see someone walking down the street that is owning their body and shoulders oh back God. and smiling, that's hot. Queen Latifah is hot. I don't oh my God, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. Oprah's hot. Mm -hmm. Like, it, there's just that confidence and powerfulness. Yeah. And so much of it is body confidence having that confidence mm -hmm. and appreciating your body for all that it does for you like mm -hmm. I may have fat under my skin but like my body is strong and healthy and you know so start owning that exactly yeah. we That's lifted it. Kate up and held her <laughs> in the street today and we didn't drop her because we were hard. strong <laughs> <Some women. laughs> and then we fell over laughing <laughs> I was lying down on the street in my sex geek shirt. Yeah. It was a very dignified moment. It was great. <laughs> so wherever you are, start by realizing other people have the same stuff. And that might help get you a little bit out of that shame spiral. And find little things you can appreciate, appreciate about yourself so you can start having a little more confidence. So let us know what you think. And we will respond to your questions or comments. So comment below. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>